Shabbat Shalom, Shalom family. This is Desiring Yah. There's a song I want to play right now. It's an old song and it was inspired by my mother who gave me my name. And um, I want to play it. And when I say it's an old song, I mean it's an old song. I might sound a little different, but it was a long time ago when I wrote this song and put it to music. But I want to play it for you today because it reminds me of my mother and also because um, of the words. And you know, when I was born, my mother told me the story that she didn't have a name for me. She said she wanted a boy and she had two girls already. And here I came, the third girl, and she wanted a boy. So she called the nurse and she said, um, give me a book of names. I don't know what to name this one. <laughs> that one was me. She didn't know what to name me. And she told me the story over and over again. And she said to the nurse, give me the book of names. So the nurse gives her the book of names and the nurse begins to read the names. This is how my mom recounted the story to me while I was growing up. She always told the story and she said, the nurse read a lot of names. And finally, the nurse read the name Melody. Melody. And my mother said, how do you spell that? And the nurse said, M-E-L-O-D-Y. And she goes, change it. Change it to M-E-L-O-D-I-E. -E. So she changed it to an I-E. And then my mother told me, she told the nurse to keep reading for names for a middle name. She didn't have a middle name for me. And so the nurse continued on to read and she read and she read different names and she read the name Dawn. Mommy said, how do you spell that? And the nurse said, D-A-W-N. My mom said, Melody Dawn, song in the morning, <laughs> song in the morning. And then my mom said, that's it. That's the name I wanna to give to this daughter who I thought was going to be a boy. I wanna to say to you that I don't know what your name is in the um, YouTube audience, but I do know from my experience that names can have great meaning. And my mother was a discerning woman. And even at birth, the Most High's hand was upon her to give me my name. Growing up, I just took it for granted that my name was Melody Dawn. When I wrote this song, I said, <clears throat> I'm so grateful that my mom named me that because it's starting to make sense. Um, she was e able to tap into my giftings and what the Most High wanted her to focus on in my life. And you know, we have many gifts, but I'm speaking about this gift. And I always say to people, stir up the gift, whatever the gift is, stir it up. Sometimes we shy away and we say, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, we can't, you know, live up to our name. But everything we do for the Most High will last. I think I'll repeat that. Everything you and I do for Yahuwah will last into eternity. Whether your talent is small, medium, large, whatever you want to term it as, all he asks of us is our best. So when I wrote this song, I wrote it in gratitude for mom, just because of the kind of mother she was. She was very strict. She was serious. She was funny at the same time. She made us laugh. She told us lots of stories. And she named me Melody Dawn, Song in the Morning. This is the first time I'm actually saying my real name. And it's time for me to say it because of the nature of the song I'm going to play. And the song I'm going to play is a very old song. I wrote it a long time ago, a long time ago. I'll probably sound really different, but my heart is the same and even more grateful to the Most High for his love in my life. Forgive me for speaking so long before playing the song. I just wanted to give the song some context and I want you to listen to the words it begins by saying the song most beautiful, that which is born through darkness. 
Have you ever gotten a song through difficult times? That's what that, those words mean. The songs that are most beautiful often come through times of difficulty and disappointment. And it says, that which is born through darkness, out of nothing, a new day follows and the sparrow sings. Why can't I sing? That's what it's asking. If a sparrow can sing, why can't I, it says, because he gives us a song in the morning. Hallelujah. He gives us a melody at dawn. Every new day when the sun rises, his faithfulness is great, greater. His grace makes us great. His gentleness makes us great. He gives you and I a song in the morning. Every time we open our eyes and we call upon him, he gives us that song in the morning. He gives us a melody at dawn. I'm grateful. So this old song, I'm gonna play it. Some of you out there might even know it, those who know me, others may not, but I hope it blesses you today. I hope it gives you a great baraka. I hope it just stirs your heart to stir up your gifts and to know that every difficult time that we face, he makes our lives sweeter by it. Can you believe this? Can you believe that he makes your life sweeter even though things are difficult? Can you believe that the Most High actually gives you a song in the morning and a melody at dawn. Don't think of it as my name, but think of it as what the Most High does. And um, that's all I wanted to say. And I'm gonna play the song. I'm not playing on the piano, but take a listen to it and let me know how you enjoyed it or what you thought of it, this old song of mine. But my greatest desire is simply to remind you that our Most High is faithful and His mercies are new every morning. I love you all. Shalom. Yeah.